Green flag. Pretty much a dead heat. It looks like Kevin got a little bit of a jump on a, the 29. Got a little jump on the one car, and there's dad to be Carl Edwards right in the back of the 29, pushing hard as he can. Biffle's Whoa. all over the back of it. Edwards looks Boy. in the middle. Whoa, I think That'll it been perfect. Could have been Harvey. Could have gone to the outside and gone with that fast line. Here comes Truex fighting his way back on, on the outside in that 56, but not a lot of help out there. Three wide. Here comes Dale Jr. pushing Clint Look at Boyer. That. Where'd Junebug come from? This will be the white flag. We're Jamie going. McMurray is in front to try to win the 500. This will be the last lap. Whatever happens now happens, folks. They can all wad up down here, and somebody's going to leave out that second turn. The winner. Junior on the bottom with Boyer. Biffle Truex. ahead. Truex trying to get up there and help McMurray, but Boyer's right there behind Biffle in the 16. Look at there him. goes Boyer Look to the outside. Look at Junior. Come on, Junior. Come on. Can they make it to the flag? Nah, no way. They'll never get through this third turn. Junior got squirreled up right there. Nah, it's just perfect. He's flying through there. Dale Earnhardt Jr. unbelievably has caught Jamie McMurray as they come to turn four. He'll have to go to the high side, though. McMurray will guard that line. Crash at the back, never mind. Green flag still out. Checkered flag in the air. The 52nd Daytona 500 to Jamie yes. McMurray. Yes! Little Jamie, baby! Woo! Hook, line, and sinker. Yes, sir. Billy Bass. How about that? Jamie McMurray, Teresa Earnhardt, Chip Ganassi, Felix Sabatis winning the Daytona 500. And don't forget Bono. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> the cars that crashed. That was so awesome. The cars oh, that man. crashed at the back were Robbie Gordon, I believe, and Jeff Gordon. When they bottled up on the back straightaway, that gave Jamie just enough room out front to be able to win the race back to the finish line. Here's where they got bottled up about halfway down the back straightaway. I really thought that Kevin Harvick would watch and see which line was coming and the outside was, and he would root up, drive up there and block it. <laughs> they were trying their best. Yeah, and this is Jeff Gordon, Robbie Gordon involved. Two car got into the wall. Bobby Labonte. But you know what? Up. This was at the back of the pack. Add a boy to NASCAR for letting them race back. Blow it up. Just burn her down right there. <laughs> Choked her down. Yes! There is no feeling like accomplishing something like what he just did. Well, and honestly, very close to the season being over last year, I don't think Jamie McMurray knew what he was going to be doing, and I'm not sure that team knew what they were going to be doing. Right on both counts, Larry. He didn't have a lot of success with Roush Fenway. Some car owners thought maybe damaged goods. Well, guess what? <laughs> Jamie Mack wins the Daytona 500. <laughs> hey, Jeff. I Six hours and ten minutes after the drop of the first green flag of the day, Jamie McMurray has just captured the flag in the greatest day of his racing life. Down to victory lane and Matt Yoakum. Every kid growing up dreams of winning the great American race. Does reality tonight match that dream? I told my wife today, I was like, she's like, if you win tonight, oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> It's unreal. It's, uh, I thought if I made it without seeing my dad or my wife, I'd be okay, but it's just, uh, it's unbelievable, really. I, I can't, uh, I can't explain it. And, oh. Hi. Um, it's just, uh, it's a dream. I mean, it really is, and. You know, to uh, <laughs> to 
be where I was last year. And for Johnny Morris and Chip and Felix, Bass Pro Shops, to take a chance on me and, and let me come back, it means a lot to me. And I just, uh, what a what a way to, to pay them back and and to give Christy a happy Valentine's Day and my dad's here and it's just very emotional. But uh, after we won Talladega, we went to McDonald's. So I think tonight we'll have a Big Mac. <laughs> You go back to that final lap, so many people are jockeying around. Walk us through your moves to victory. Well, Biffle helped me out. I spun the tires on the restart, and, you know, it's just a gamble of which line's going to get the biggest run. But Greg gave me the unbelievable push on the back stretch. And then uh, when I saw the 88 behind me, I thought, oh, no. I'm like, it's, uh, you know, he's had a good car, and, and I just, you know, Earnhardt at Daytona, it's just, I mean, they win all the time, it seems like. So you just never know what to expect. But uh, certainly thank you to all the fans, too, that stuck around. That was that was tough having to get in and out of the car, but but they stuck with us, and it was cool to hear the applause, and they got back in the car and sprint for uh, for everything they do. I went to one of their parties the other night, and Dan Hesse is just a, a great guy, and it, it means a lot. I mean, not only sprint, but Everybody that's a part of our sport, with the economy the way it is, we couldn't be here to put this show on without uh, with all these sponsors. Uh, so, good stuff. I want to get with my team. <laughs> Congratulations. J.B. McMurray, the biggest win of his racing career. 34 different drivers have won the Daytona 500. Probably not since Pete Hamilton in 1970 has there been a first-time winner of this race that has appreciated it more than Jamie Mack. It, it, it's okay to cry in racing. Trust me, I know. And that's a big deal to that kid, uh, as big as anything ever happened to him. So, you know, don't, I don't want to hear a bunch of people say, oh, man, I can't believe he's in victory lane crying. That's how, that's how big this is and how emotional it is. Well, there's, there's not a dry eye up here either. No, I mean, <laughs> we're, honestly, we're so happy for I'm him. right there with him. He didn't need to say a word. Pretty much what we saw with his feelings pretty much said it all. But, but I mean, what a way to cap off speed weeks. We've been down here for a week and a half, and, yeah, we had some trying weather. But we said it when we rolled in here about 10 or 11 days ago, unpredictable.